Citizens speak out. As people stand up for basic freedoms, human rights, and greater peace for themselves and fellow country persons, they continue to gather for change in countries and regions like Afghanistan, Chile, East Africa, Egypt, India, Jordan, Lebanon, Libya, Portugal, Syria, United Kingdom, United States, and Yemen. India. The Central and Assam state governments of India on Wednesday welcomed a ceasefire announced by the United Liberation Front of Assam, or ULFA, as the first in 32 years, with both governments saying that they are ready to work together with the group in proceeding toward a full peaceful resolution. United States. Hundreds of inmates in 13 of California's prisons on Thursday, July 14th, continued a hunger strike began on July 1st, calling for an end to long-term or indefinite confinement. Although the California government states it will not change policies for confining prisoners who have committed serious crimes while in prison, the U.S. Supreme Court ordered the state to significantly lower the prison population in May 2011, stating that overcrowding creates conditions that promote violence. United Kingdom. News programming on Friday was disrupted as journalists for the BBC staged a 24-hour strike to protest a number of compulsory layoffs, which the BBC states are due to reduced government funding. Portugal. Thousands of people marched through Lisbon on Friday to protest recent austerity measures imposed by the government to address the nation's financial crisis, including the recent addition of a tax on year-end bonuses. Chile. Organizers report that 80,000 teachers, students, parents and children marched in Santiago to demand more funds for public education and for deeper changes to the educational system after university students earlier in the week rejected a reform plan suggested by President Sebastián Piñera. Although the march began peacefully, clashes later erupted with police, resulting in injuries to at least 32 officers and 54 protester arrests. Jordan at a demonstration in Amman on Friday, organized by youth groups and attended by an estimated 2,000 protesters to demand reforms and an end to corruption, at least 16 were injured, nine of the whom were journalists, including New York Times reporter Karim Fahim, who was witnessed as being beaten by 10 police. Egypt. Thousands of protesters gathered on Friday in Cairo's Tahrir Square and other cities, many calling for a week-long sit-in as they refused to back down on their demands for the end of military trials of civilians and speedier trials of former regime members. Afghanistan and United States On Wednesday, July 13th, the first 650 U.S. soldiers departed from Afghanistan as the start of a total 10,000 scheduled by the end of this year. According to U.S. Lieutenant Commander Colette Murphy, Another 600 are in the process of leaving the northeastern province of Pawan. Meanwhile, for the first time in history, a group of up to 30 Afghani women marched from Kabul University to the Afghan Human Rights Institute, demanding respect and freedom from sexual harassment. East Africa Experts from humanitarian organizations such as the International Federation of the Red Cross, Oxfam, and Ireland-based Concern Worldwide agree that not only is a long-term solution to the dire situation of drought-imposed hunger needed for the people of countries like Somalia, but that a key component is elimination of conflict, as they call for more efforts from governments in the region, as well as continued international help in restoring peace. Syria. In an escalating crackdown on protesters in eastern Syria Thursday, activists and residents said that security forces shot and killed two demonstrators and wounded at least five more in Deir al-Zur. Then on Friday, as hundreds of thousands of people protested nationwide, activists reported that at least 19 more people were killed by Syrian forces in Idlib, Homs, Dara and Damascus, with many more wounded in these and other cities. Meanwhile, heavy gunfire was heard Friday amidst a two-week-long crackdown by Syrian troops in the Jabal al Zawaya area near the Turkish border, where eight people are known to have been killed so far. Yemen. A day after injuring at least 10 protesters with gunfire, Press TV reports that Yemeni government forces opened fire on a candlelight vigil Thursday in Taiz as citizens protested regular electricity blackouts. On Friday, the U.S.-based Washington Post reported that protests were held across 17 provinces as people called for a civil state, a transitional government, and the prosecution of those involved in attacks on innocent citizens. Meanwhile, as tens of thousands again rallied in Taiz, residents reported that at least 10 people were killed, including one child, with more than seven wounded. With deep sympathies for the precious lives lost, as well as for those injured or enduring hardship due to the conflicts, we pray that the strife in all nations may subside for people to choose to live in dignified freedom and peace.